Welcome to my YouTube channel and for this video we will talk about problem 305 this is the second iteration of number of island and we will solve this problem using disjoint set also known as union find I want you guys to pause this video to read the problem statement I'm going to make this mild assumption that you guys have seen disjoint set or union find in your algorithm class if not I want you guys to google this and just to try to get the big picture of this what this is about towards the end i will talk about this but i really want you guys to um, see like this concept called path compression i think that this is a very beautiful implementation for this problem i came up with this position and here we have 0 comma 1 1 comma 0 2 comma 3 blah 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 and we have number of rows there will be five number of columns there will be four let's run this initially we we are at 0 comma 1 so we mark this that's 0 comma 1 and number of islands will be one now we are at 1 comma 0 that's this guy and number of islands will be two because these two are not connected for 2 comma 3 that's this guy well they are not connected so number of islands will be just three and here it gets interesting so we have 3 comma 3 and 3 comma 3 and 2 comma 3 they are connected so the number of islands would be 3 not 4 we are at 3 comma 1 and that's this guy they are not connected so number of islands would be 4 and now we have 3 comma 2 that will make this guy a giant one single island so we would have 3 for the number of islands and 1 comma 1 would be this guy and number of islands would be 2 because this guy is connected to this and this at 2 comma 1 that's this guy they will make this one single island so number of islands will be just one and to solve this problem we will be we, we have to keep track of how many islands we have so far and you can technically use DFS at, at every single iteration, but I think you will get time limit exceeded and that's, that approach will be very, very slow. So this is a problem where union find will really shine and show its true potential. So I create two arrays, parent and rank, and I also create a set. Let's call that island. So first, let's talk about island. As we iterate on this position array, we will be adding this 0, 1 to our island. If when we are iterate when we are at this coordinate 1, 0, we will add 1, 0 to our island this set. So we will we will be doing that as we iterate on this position. For parent and rank, this is how I initialize. So size here will be the size of this um, matrix. In this case, it will be just M times N, number of rows times number of columns. So initially, all this index points to its themselves, meaning that, so let's look at this guy. So parent of one is equal to one, right, this guy? So this is what it means. Parents of one is pointing to itself. So that's what it means. However, if we have something like this, where one points to two, meaning that one is a child of this two, or two is a parent of one. So parent of one is equal to two. That's what this means. Where two is a, I mean, where one points to two. So two. Is a root node of one that's another way of thinking about this another thing oh yeah the, for the rank rank just means how many nodes does this guy have including itself this one what is the rank of one it is just one the number itself what is the rank of two in this case it will be this guy which is one plus this guy one so one plus one is two so rank of 2 is 2 because for this number 2 it has 2 
and two nodes, this guy and this guy. Rank of one here would be just one, since we have a two dimensional like we have a two dimensional here, but then our parent and rank arrays are one dimensional. So we have to find a way. So we have to find a bijection between them, and the easiest one would be just we have a x times n plus y. So for instance. If we are working on say I don't know zero comma one here zero comma one, that will correspond to the index one, right? There will be x will be zero in this case, and n will be four. That's the number of columns, not number of rows. So zero times four plus one is just one. If we are looking at one comma one, there will be this guy. There will be we are we should look at index five right zero one two three four five so yeah here we have union function and find function and we are at here one comma zero as you can see so one comma zero and zero comma one they are not connected so we don't have that diagonal we, we uh, the only way two islands are connected is vertically or horizontally we don't have diagonal so so here's one thing that you have to remember when we are at 1 comma 0 we can have up to four neighbors 1 2 3 and 4 this guy is invalid so we don't we don't think about this so among these three 1 2 and 3 well they are not in our island set in this case we do not run this two function we run this union function if and only if neighbors have valid coordinates and neighbors are in our island set since 0 comma 1 is not in our i mean since 0 comma 0 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 0 are not in our island set we we don't do anything here for now our parent and rank arrays stays the same they are not changed Two comma three, and as you can see, the its neighbors one, two, three, and four. This guy is invalid, and one, two, and three. These guys are not in our island set, so we do not run this. So this stays the same. We are at three comma three. Three comma three is this guy. We look at its potential neighbors. This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Well, this is not. A valid coordinate so we don't think about it we have this guy which is on, which is in our island set in this case we have to run our union function so let's look at this so we will be running union in this case P will be 15 15 is this guy and Q will be 11 Q is this guy so what is the root of p? What is the root of 15? We have to run this function. So there will be find 15. And let's look at 15. Well, 15 is just this guy. Here we have 15. What is the root root underscore q? That's just equal to find 11, which is this guy, right? You run this find function since 11 is equal to parent of 11, which is 11. So here we have 11. We look at the rank for both 15 and 11. Both of them are 1. Now, since these two numbers, root p, root underscore p, and root underscore q are not equal, we have, what do we have? We have 11 and 15. So they are not equal. So we have to make some modification. Well, obviously, rank. 15 and rank 11 they are the same so we are in, in this L statement here we will be making some change to parent so parent of 15 we set that equal to 11 so that's what's going on here and rank 11 that's this guy will become rank 11 plus rank 15 there will be 2 so what's going on here if you visualize this in graph so this is what we have 15 points to 11 11 is the parent of 15 and rank of 11 will be 2 because it has this itself and 15 so here we have 2 here 
and 11 points to itself so something like this and 15 points to 11 here this is the arrow and the rank of 15 is still the one right it's just itself so for this guy we have 3 comma 1 and fortunately we don't have any neighbors that are in our island set so there is nothing to do other than adding 3 comma 1 to our island set at 3 comma 2 and that's this red tile if we look at this red tile obviously you, you we can see that these two are connected and these these guys are connected here we have something going on so let's try to run this union function with 3 comma 1 that will be this guy so let's try to union these two guys yellow and red we run union 14 and 13 root underscore p which is which is basically find this guy find 14 it's just 14 right 14 points to itself so that's 14 and root underscore q that's just find 13 and 13 what is the parent of 13 that's just 13 and rank of 14 is just one rank of 13 is one we are in this l statement because they are not the same you know where we have root underscore p is not equal to root underscore q so we are looking at this l statement parent of 14 will become 13 here parent of 13 i mean parent of 14 will become 13 that's the change that i made and rank of 13 will become 2 because you are adding these two rank of this plus rank of this so we have 2 so that will be here rank of 13 is 2 and we have we still have to run this union function so union of 14 and 15 so root underscore p in this case will be 13 and root underscore q is 11 with with this rank rank of 13 equals 2 and rank of 11 equals 2 since they are not equal we have root underscore p is equal to 13 root underscore q is 11 so they are not equal and we are in this l statement too so we, we make the necessary change the parent of 13 becomes 11 meaning that 13 13's parent is 11 so here if you look at here parent of 13 is 11 now and the rank of 11 will be 2 plus 2 equals 4 next we are looking at 1 comma 1 and one for one comma one we can connect these these three islands all together the neighbors are zero comma one and one comma zero we will run union of five and four first and then we will do union of five and one union of five and four there will be these two guys when you run when you combine these two we have to make the change to so so we have to make change to parent of 5 that becomes 4 and rank of 4 will becomes 2 next you run union of 5 and 1 and so this is what once you run union of 5 and 1 we have parent of 1 becomes 4 and rank of 4 becomes 3 2 comma 1 represent this guy the blue tile and in this case we have to run union function twice first one will be union of 9 and 13 the second one will be union of 9 and 5 when you do union of 9 and 13 parent of 9 will becomes 11 rank of 11 becomes 5 and then when you run union of 9 and 5 parent of 4 becomes 11 and rank of 11 becomes 8 that is this guy so that is really the key idea behind this problem yeah and let's look at my pseudocode for this problem my pseudocode for this problem and i made a i made a typo here this one should be count so when i try this problem on my first try i got it wrong because i thought all these coordinates coming from positions would be unique but apparently it is there can be some repetition so if we have seen if we already have seen position and we can do that by checking whether if position is in island 
then we have to append whatever we have to append count to our answer array and then we have to move on to the next one and we do that by having this continue in here otherwise meaning that position is unique we increment count variable by one we try all like four possible neighbors and those coordinates will be given by x tilde and y tilde if x tilde and y tilde, y tilde satisfy this inequalities and x tilde comma y tilde is an island then we have to run union function if union function returns false then we don't do anything else right when union function returned false that means they are already connected so we don't do anything else so if union function returns true what does that mean that means those we can connect position and we can connect the position's neighbor when you connect them we are so we are we have to decrement count variable by one because we are essentially forming one island from two islands so that's what this is going on here and then when we exit inner inner for loop we have to append whatever count variable we have to answer array and when we exit our for loop we return this answer array that's it and that's the code for this union and find and so this is the path compression this one line is a path compression Unfortun unfortunately in our example we didn't have chance to see the full power of path compression so let's see an specific example of path compression so in the last step in the last step we we are on 2 comma 1 and suppose we have union of 9 and 14 instead of 9 and 13 so 9 and 14 well, we have to run this union function root underscore p will be just 9 because parent of 9 is equal to 9 but here root underscore q is different we have to run this find function with 14 as an input now we run find of 14 that will be parent of 14 equals find of 13 and we run find of 13 here well we have to run find of 11 here again and find of 11 since 11 is equal to parent of 11 we return 11 and we send return we then that becomes uh, parent then we have parent of 13 equals 11 right so we said parent of 13 equals 11 and then we return 11 and we are at here so parent of 14 will become 11 and we return 11 here so we have root underscore q will becomes 11 so so if you look at the if you look at this uh, graph this is what we have initially so 14 points to 13 13 points to 11 15 points to 11 and 11 points to itself once you run this once you run this find function we have this so 13 points to 11 14 points to 11 15 points to 11 every time we run this find function we are basically reducing this height and this is super helpful so this is path compression and so that is pretty much for this problem and let's see my code and this is what i what what we get and that's for this video if you if my video helps you guys learning how to solve this kind of problem using union find or disjoint set please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if there is some improvements that i have to make or if if you have more questions you know you can write it in the comment section and i'm more than happy to respond to you guys thank you so much and have a great evening bye bye